When using brick textures, I have never been completely satisfied with the result. They always appear way too flat and lacking detail and displacement. And yeah, you could just use a displacement map and get rid of this flatness that I'm talking about. But you don't get the real and natural look of hand-laid bricks. But instead, we can model the bricks using the brick texture as a reference and material and then place them in specific places to give the structure a real and tangible feeling to it. So first thing you want to do is go into the material preview mode. And we're just going to add a cube in. Now what we want to do with this cube is scale it to be the size of a brick. So just move it to a brick, start scaling in edit mode to match the shape and size of the brick. And once you get it about the same size, you have pretty much made your brick. You just need to texture it and make it look good. So what you can do is actually just select the object that has your brick texture and go over here to the material area. Click this little button right here and drag the material onto your wanted object and it adds the material. So now we have a brick texture on our brick, but it's a bunch of bricks on one tiny brick, which is not how bricks work. So what we gotta do is make a copy of this material. Go into the shading tab and then make sure the scale is all set to one. And if your rotation is anything but zero, change it to zero. So now go to the UV editing tab. We have this just unfolded box UV. We want to change that. So go to UV, smart UV project. Okay. And now we have this nice clean UV that matches the size of our different faces. So let's just start out with this front face, select it, select all the vertices, and then scale it around to match the brick. Just going to rotate it 90 degrees, scale it to the brick, and that looks good. And you just want to repeat this on all of the faces. You could use different bricks on the texture or the same one. I would recommend using different ones just so you have a little bit of variation. There's our brick. So now you can just go back to the layout view. Make sure you go to object and apply the scale of your brick. And then you can add a bevel modifier to get some nice edges. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this bevel. You don't have to. You could keep it open for changes, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And now all we have to do is position this brick and duplicate it around, changing the rotation and everything to certain locations to give it a better look. So my main thing is on the edge of this building, it's just way too flat. The corner is straight down and there's no bump or variation on the edge. And that's just not how bricks are. So what I'm going to do is crisscross them on this corner. So I'm going to start on the top and just align it with the brick, pop it out just a little bit. And I'm going to just keep duplicating that down and change the position and maybe rotation of them but just for this video I'm not going to rotate them any. Going every other brick with them out and then I'm going to take all of these and duplicate them and rotate them 90 on the z-axis. Move them over and down to where they are in between the bricks that I just placed. And this is what I mean by them crisscrossing each other. So we now have this really nice effect where there are actual bricks on our wall, which makes a world of a difference. It looks much better than that straight edge with no variation on it. Another thing that you can do is take these bricks and randomly place them on top of other bricks, just on the flat surface of the wall, which is again a really nice effect to have. And it's just very useful for making way better brick walls. Anyways, I really hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you.